and uh, hello from the New York Blues of the USA. Stay home, save lives. We're in this together. Hey guys, Og Zia from the US. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Ben Shilwell. But before anything, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share, and do the right thing. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I will follow you back. Anyways, Ben Shilwell, yeah, him again, because it's been all over the internet and you know, we have to talk about him, right? Remember that we've been talking about this guy long before even the transfer ban was lifted. Hi, it's Olivier Giroud. Restez à la maison, sauvez des vies. Et surtout, soyons solidaires. Let me make it clear. I don't want to see Ben Shewell at Chelsea Football Club. I don't like him. I think Emerson is better than him. And that is just my opinion. I was one of the few people last year, November, when everybody was going crazy, saying how great Ben Shewell was. I came out and I made a video and said that he's not that good. Let's uh, give him time to confirm, you know, he needs some consistency. But I got a lot of sticks at the time. But the same people now, you know, change their mind and they are criticizing Ben Shewell. They forget that uh, we have them on the record. The same people who sold us Morata, Luka Jovic, all of a sudden, they just change. They flipped and follow the popular opinion on social media. Let me play the devil advocate here so you can see things from a different perspective because sometimes we just focus on one side of the coin but we don't care about what is in the other side. So let's say Frank Lampard, the management team, the scouting department decided to go for Ben Shewell because they believe he is going to be one of the best in the future. Remember, football is not only about playing on the field. They have to check on you, your background, your family, everything that's going on in your life is part of football. So scouting is not only watching some good video on YouTube, it's also knowing the person as a human being. So let's say they are convinced that this guy is going to be one of the best in the future, even though he's having some hard time at the moment. In that case, I'm going to have to trust Frank Lampard and the scouting department because I have no power to change any decision they are going to make. The end of the day, you and me are sitting home in our couches and we don't know what is happening behind closed doors. We never watched Ben Shewell play live. We, we just see what the camera decided to show us. So Frank Lampard knows him better than many of us. So sometimes we have to stop being expert on everything. We have to trust the people who are paid to do the job. Everybody been complaining about the price tag, including me, because I think 70 million for Ben Shewell is too much. I would prefer to promote the young Madsen instead of paying that kind of money. But the end of the day, if this guy end up by being the next Ashley Cole, and then I don't have any problem with that. Also, we complain about everything. Remember in the past years, we've been complaining about the board not supporting the managers. And now that for the first time, the board are trying to help the manager, getting him the players that he believe are going to work in his system. And now we are complaining again about the money. It doesn't make sense to me. Some people have been accusing Frank Lampard for being biased, racist, he only likes English players and the academy product. But I tell you what, that is not true because the majority of the players at Chelsea Football Club are not English. 
Zuma, Christensen, Rudiger, Kante, Kova, Jorginho, William, Pedro, Pulisic, Giroud, and the list goes on. They are not English. And guess what? Tomori is on the bench. Tomori is English and he's from the academy. That tells you that Frank Lampard uses players based on merit, not about your nationality or the color of your skin. If he's going to use Ben Shilwell, it's just because he believes he can do a better job than other players. I understand that uh, Frank Lampard's haters are not happy at the moment because the league is suspended, we are not losing games, and before the suspension, we were doing very good. And they have no material with them right now to criticize or continue their frank out campaign and agendas. So they will pick up anything out there from social media and all kind of fake news and speculation is a perfect opportunity for them to continue a little bit of hate. Nobody knows the truth. It could be just speculation and you don't have to hate people because of speculation on social media. Relax, brother. Give Frank Lampard time. Give him players that he want and let judge him at the end of next season. But if you decide to continue with your Frank out campaign, you hate, we move and nothing you can do about it. Think outside the box and see you in the next one. Stay at home, save lives, we're all in this together. Keep the blue flag flying high.